a little closer. Oh! oh, oh. Look at it up there! The chasing Valley is every which way. Yeah! Yep, 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 yep. Right there. This 30 pounds taking a beating. Hey, we got some dinner, baby. Dinner in the show. Dinner in the show. Right Presented by Yellowfin with Captain Scott Walker and Captain Steve Roger. Yo. Hey, What's Steve. up, buddy? Made it right on time? Yeah, man. Better late than never. What's that bazooka you got there? Uh, that's a little bit of uh, underwater footage stuff. We're going to jump in the water again today? I'm going to try to. See if we can uh, get a look at what actually goes on down there. Awesome. You going to get in with me? I don't think that's necessary. <laughs> Someone's got to drive the boat back home. I was commercial collecting tropical fish from the age of 12. So, you know, I enjoy being underwater. I enjoy, you know, a lot of this stuff that I seem to stumble on these fish all the time is because I know what lives there. I've been there. I've seen it underwater. You know, a lot of guys, they're scared of the water. There's a lot of sharks in this ocean. There's a lot of big sharks in this ocean. I'm kind of comfortable with that. So, you know, when I pull up to a fishing spot, 99% of them, I have already dove the spot. You know, I, I know where the fish live. I know which end to anchor on. Um, you know, it's really cool on the surface, and it's really cool on a day on the water fishing, but it's twice as cool what's going on underwater. Oh, water. man. Bluebird day. And you've been catching bait, I hear? Yeah, ballyhoos, thread fins. Got to go catch the ballyhoos today. But... Yeah. We got a bunch of thread fins we could put in there, huh? Yeah, we're ready to load them up as soon as you're ready. Oh, I'm ready, ready the rest man. of your gear. I'm off. I'm ready. All right. Well, welcome aboard. Thank you, buddy. Let's do this. All right. What'd you bring me today? A couple light rods, you know, something for casting at the sailfish. You know, I've never caught a sailfish on braid. Oh, I'm really? going to use one of your poles today. Yeah, we're going to do it. Sweet. You're going to enjoy it, too. It's <laughs> real nice. Yeah, let's um, put some 15-foot, 30-pound leaders on here. Some 6-0 uh, VMC circles. Yeah. So you're going to teach me a thing or two about this circle hook deal. All right. It's only required for tournament fishing. <laughs> now. <laughs> yeah, we go ahead and just practice it all the time up there. Now, are you actually... Uh, Snelling all these on there? Yep. You want to snell them on there? Snell's preferred when we're actually targeting the billfish. The snell. Yeah, that's what I need right there. That's my, that'll be my learning right here. <laughs> we don't snell a lot. Come from the inside and lay it along the back of the hook. I'm left handed, so you're going to have to. I'm left handed too, buddy. That's sweet. Yeah, two southpaw. Then you're just going to make a nice loop. Yeah. Keep the tag end just past, just past the hook there, so you can wrap around it really easy. Yeah. You can make this loop as big as you want. Yeah. Now you're going to, from the, the shank the shank towards the hook eye, you're just going to wrap it, shank and the tag end, six, seven, eight times. Right. Back right. towards your thumb and forefinger. Right. I got you. And get on there with your teeth and yeah. snug it up. Ooh, I'll tell you what, you're going to make Dang. me look silly. And now it's all laid alongside itself. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. we might be leaving the dock today. <laughs> Later, we'll learn that one later. We'll, we'll work on that we'll one later. We'll work on that one later. 80 pound test first. Yeah, we're going with the clinch uh, knot right now. The sails have been running the value all over up in the middle keys. Can't wait to check it out down here. They got the value back there already, buddy. Sweet. Yep, they're there cutting. Oh man, they are ready to net already. Hope they're hungry as they're aggressive. Let's catch a few on hooks before we throw net on them. Yeah, so man, they'll be strong. Do that. Yep. We didn't waste any time bait fishing. When we went to catch bait, we caught it and got on with our what we were going to do. Yeah. A lot of your day gets eaten up. You say, let me try here, let me try here. We were very fortunate enough that everywhere we went had exactly what we needed. Yeah. You know, that reef that we caught the ballyhoo on was really crucial for the fact that as soon as we caught ballyhoo on that reef, which was just five miles from the marina, we were fishing. Right. We were sail fishing right there. We were ready. And, and we had what we needed. Um, that bait spot, I had been hitting that up pretty much all week. And um, it's just so many ballyhoo in there. Right. It, it was did just, seem like they were trained circus yeah, animals. It was a wonderful, <laughs> quick and easy thing. And, and that makes our days a lot easier. Yeah, we were able to hair hook the ones for later in the day. I guess we netted a few. Yeah, we cast netted. We cast netted a few yeah. just to have the, the baits to start the morning. Yeah. Because they, they weren't going to make it past half day once they get hit by a cast net and all. And it worked out perfectly. 
get my sailfish today on uh, the braid. Save me some money with my charter business. Yeah. I don't have to change line so often. No doubt. <laughs> We're going to do it. That's my goal. My goal is to get you one on braid. <laughs> this is insane value fishing. <laughs> Into the Blue, presented by Yellowfin, is brought to you by Yellowfin, only in a Yellowfin. Simrad, and the brilliant award-winning NSE multifunction display. By Mercury Marine. King Sailfish Mounts, for that once-in-a-lifetime catch. By Costa Sunglasses, see what's out there. And by Steve Rogers Spear One Charters, Key West, Florida. Scott Walker's Tailwalker Charters, Duck Key, Florida, Under Armour, and Plano. So it's late fall. Came down here for the great sailfish run, and uh, we start heading west, you know, jacked up, ready to just light the world on fire with the sails. And it turns out, as the day went on, spray after spray after spray were mahi mahi, or dorados. I mean, you know, Pacific, they're called Dorados over here, Dolphin, and the whole day was set up about me catching the sail on braid, yeah. teaching me a cool new knot, blackfin tuna's airing out all over the place. I'm kind of like, well, came to see a sail, take my eyes off the pack of values, and you're screaming, there's a sail. Get a bait, get a bait, sail, sail, sail. I see him, and I'm ready to cast that thing 70 feet with this new knot, and I like, come around the corner with the bait, and you got him. Yeah. 10 feet away, I, I had to think, rethink and just did a little underhand flip. I mean, it was 10 foot pitch yeah. and whammy. Yeah. I love the underhand call, baby. Gotta get me. Oh, sick! Yeah. Gotta get, get her down, Stevie! Good eye! Good eye! Did you hear his mouth open up? I'm used to 2,000 horsepower with the big diesels roaring in on him. You can't do the underhand flip like that. <laughs> that was awesome. It's your turn now. Oh, that, yeah. I'm gonna <laughs> that. that was cool, man. Great job. Great bite. The well, bite was unbelievable. Just what we talked about. What we wanted to see. I yeah. mean, there's a lot of ways you can catch them, and that's probably one of the funnest right there. Yeah. See him, see him chasing a ballot, get in there, pitch him to bait. Absolutely. Awesome thing. There comes that big old sail bite. I mean, what's better than that? Visual, you can hear it, and then when he just takes off on that braid, you feel every beat of his tail. It was really cool. It was what I expected, but I didn't expect it to happen so easily. Yeah! This 30 pounds taking a beating. Strong work, baby. It just doesn't get any better than that. He like a jet. Uh, How far away was he? 12 feet? Yeah, yeah, he was 10 like feet. A ninja, dude, slinging <laughs> that bill around. Did you see that? Ah, uh, I heard it. That Ballyhoo got up tail. He saw that one little single Ballyhoo. He had 25 on his right. He saw that one on the left. But that's the one. Come on, come on up and jump for us. Give me a little closer. Whoa! Oh, ho, ho! <laughs> How does he look? He looks like he's in the mouth? Yeah, it does. Oh, Last time he jumped. Tail walker, baby. Got his sail up. Got that white spot on his head. He's still a little angry. He says, I ain't going in that shallow water anymore. No. He got us out here in that He'll think twice feet. about that easy meal. Yeah. He's moving out here to the deep stuff where he belongs. He's down here where there were, where no sail fishermen usually are hanging out. Today he was wrong. He's getting alongside of us here now. All right. Come on. Hooked right in the corner of the mouth, baby. Good call coming to the west. Ready to let him go for me, Skipper? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He looks ready. All right. He does look ready. Look at those beautiful. Yeah. He looks ready. Here he comes. He participated well. He's been a good team player. Do your best. Look at it. Right in the look corner. Look at that hook. Look yeah. at that hook. Right where you want it, man. Oh, oh. you all right? I got it. All right, man. Good job. All right. Here we go, dude. Oh, man, that was awesome. Woo! Thank you, Beautiful, Mr. Man. Sailfish. Thank that you, That was awesome. Mr. What a bite. What a bite, dude. Oh. It don't get cooler than that. That's why we're out here. Knowing that Steve is an accomplished charter guide of the Key West fleet, the, the 25 to 30 foot open water, that intrigued me because that has a lot of work. That has no mate involved. That is one man 
tackling his whole charter alone, and that is a different kind of person than I am. I've always had helpers that will do, help me fish, but he gets on the boat, he puts the bait on, he catches the bait, he puts the ice on, he rigs the tackle, and at the end of the day, he has to entertain his clients, clean up, and then do it all again the very next day. And that takes a special person, and it's easy for him. His, his character is it's full of life. His stories just keep in stitches all day long. He's a goofball. <laughs> But it just, you can't turn your back on him. If something's going to happen, he's going he's gonna to take advantage of any opening he ever gets. He's a one-man show. There's two, look at sails right there. Look at the sails right behind him. Two oh. sails. All right, I'll get another rod. Yeah, get another rod. Yep, 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 right there. Look at him big Look at him out there. They're chasing valleys every which way. So after a long day of fishing, you know, obviously a lot of salt spray, a lot of salt's getting in these reels. So what you want to do, the first thing is back your drags off. The reason being is you, when your drags are tight, you know, in the fishing position, you actually compress those washers. So you want to release the drag in order to allow them washers, you know, function normally without all that compression as you sit them in your closet. Another very important thing, if you're not going to be fishing for a few days, is apply some corrosion block. You know, what I like to do is put it on the bale, both spots where the bale actually opens and closes. It's very important to get some corrosion block in there. Another, sp another really important spot is this roller that the line travels on. You need that thing moving and functioning in order to keep the fish on the line. Obviously, right here on the knob on the handle, another great spot to apply this stuff. Uh, reel seat, just as good. You know, you can change this reel out in two weeks from now, it's gonna actually come right off. And we're gonna do that to all of our rods. Uh, you know, even your conventional tackle, on the rod, you know, most of these spinners, you don't have to apply any corrosion block. You know, these guides are, are, are function free. Uh, but on these rollers, right here on these roller guides, you need to apply a little bit of corrosion block to each one of these rollers to keep these things moving. I mean, that's what's gonna keep that line moving smoothly in and out of this rod. Uh, Another, you know, again, another important spot on these rods, obviously, is your handle. Uh, you want to hit, hit, hit your knob. Uh, also, where your drag, where your drag lever moves up back and forth, you can apply a little bit there. And again, your reel seat. You want to make sure that can move. So in case you need to change a reel out, it, it'll be free and uh, in working condition. A very good product to apply to all your moving parts, and it'll keep you on the water and keep you moving. What, right after the sale, we uh, you know, done high-fiving and patting each other on the back, back to business. We see another blackbird a mile down. They're racing there looking for a sale, and what is it? It's a big old, big old mahi-mahi. There's two, look at sails right there. Look at the sails right behind them, two oh. sails. All right, I'm gonna get another rod. Yeah, get another rod. Yep, 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 right there. Look at them big look dolphins out there. there. They're chasing valleys every which way. Hey, we got some dinner, baby. Dinner in the show. Dinner in the show. Up. We weren't even where we were headed. All right, I'm gonna cast again. Which way do yeah, you think I'm I should cast? Yeah, I'm looking for you. I'm looking for you. I'm gonna throw it down, see, just until. Hey, there's a big old bull in there too, dude. That's the one I saw when I just got up on the edge. We want to take one of these oh, for yeah, dinner definitely, tonight? Oh, definitely, definitely. Oh, that's a beautiful I'm fish. I'm ready there. for some fresh mahi. All right. Uh, watch this pole on your left. Hey, that was incredible, man. You said <laughs> dolphin. I look over. There's five dolphin and two sailfish right there chasing those valley hoops. All right. Come catch this one, big man. That's a one. And we got that on standby, ready to go. Yeah. If you got, you know, two or three with them, I'm gonna flick another one out there. There was a big bowl. I, I think we only need to take one home. Yeah, we'll take one home and this one stretched way we'll out. We'll turn the rest, the rest go. There'll be 50 pounders next year. Beautiful fish. You wanna go ahead and take that one, then we'll go look for the other ones on this fish that's down yes, sea? Yes, we can do that. Don't bring them alongside. Gotta have groceries, buddy. Open the hatch. He's not going anywhere. Beautiful, man. Beautiful. Look at... All right, he's going to box, and we'll let the next one go. All right. We'll get the wheel and start coming towards that fish, okay? All right, I'm ready. Dinner and a show, baby. Not even time to sell Dinner a and a show. I think I'm going to have mine. Blackett, dolphin, tacos. There fish you tacos. go. All right, this one's down deep. 
It looks like he's gonna be all by himself. Or her, should I say. I didn't get the bull, did I? What a nice, this is her lucky day. I'm gonna do it right on this side here, Scotty. Coming to Everything's you. Everything's perfect. Try my mahi release skills. <laughs> Imagine they're slimy. Man, look at the spot. Yeah, beautiful. I'd have liked to see her boyfriend he's, eat the he's, bait. He's just about a mile away, and we're going yeah. to get him. Beautiful fish, man. Man, that's nice. Let's get this hook out of him. Roll it right out. Look at that. Awesome, buddy. Nothing better than that. Thank you, Mr. Dolphin. All right, Bob, let's go get another one. All right. It's on work. Just driving along, that's singing it. a song. That's it, baby. <laughs> Look at him swim away. Doesn't know what's happening. That was awesome. <laughs> Doesn't realize how lucky he was. Uh-uh. She was. Hey, the bow. Oh, big black fins busting under them birds right now. It's all going on. Look yeah. out there. Oh, look at the size of that black fin. Into the Blue, presented by Yellowfin, is brought to you by Yeti Coolers. Wildly stronger, keep ice longer. Isla Mirada, sport fishing capital of the world. By Okuma Fishing Tackle, there is no stopping Okuma. Bass Pro Shops, your adventure starts here. And Staybill, for everyday protection against the damaging effects of ethanol. We had to stop to catch the fish we had in 20 feet of water, which was beautiful as it was to see those big yellow and blue spots and then swimming on the coral as they go away. But then when we're done, just one quick check, there's the frigate birds, run down another mile, same pack on another fresh pack of ballyhoos and just do it over and over again. And it's really cool. And, and I, I think it was more of a treat to catch those dolphins in that 20 feet of water where you could see the bottom than it was actually to catch the sails. Because, you know, the sails are notorious for going up in there. Right. And to catch them dolphins, those big dolphins, that's a pretty neat thing, you know, get them up in that shallow water. Was ballyhoos the, the date of choice on Yeah, inshore. on the reef. When we were inshore. Yeah, we matched the hatch there. Well, then, you know, we actually, you said something about you wanted to get the key slammed, so then we <laughs> shot out, and we actually went to a little tuna hole there we had, and we, you know, threw the rest of those belchers and bally I saw you swinging bally over his eye. I want to see if there's something really big out yeah. there. Yeah. Think it's a black pin? Uh, I think it might be. <laughs> it like it. Give us a slam for the day. Sail dolphin and tuna. Be nice. That's how you, that's how you roll. Oh, here we go, here we go. Got him up. Oh, yeah, right there popping, right on the top. Right under that seagull there. They, they got them baits running, Bubba. You should be good. Ooh, that's right, cool. Look at that. Bam, bam. Nice tunas. <laughs> yep, I got color. Big old tuna. Try a ballyhoo. You gonna grab this thing? Oh, a tanker beneath it, dude. <laughs> oh, my God. Look at that thing. That's a 12 cylinder model. Golly. I'm gonna have to take him in and weigh him. Oh. That's the biggest one I've ever seen. That is a monster. Oh! Got my tune on, double header yet? That's a ballyhoo bite there. Oh, they're right behind the boat. Got it going on now. What do you want to do with your bonita? Uh, just toss it. Look at this thing, though. I know, it's a tank. You're letting the world record go. Well, man, we're good like All right. that. We're good like that. Oh, oh get a right. give me a ballyhoo. You still got one on. I'm going to get a ballyhoo out. Uh, so you're going to make me fight two at a time again? Yeah, man. Get one more hooked up here. Uh, yeah, that's what we need. That one's got no bill. Come here for a second. All right, what do you need? Figure this out. Oh, they're eating my ballyhoo behind the boat. Oh, got him on the ballyhoo with a closed bail. All right. OK. The fish on this, you said? Yep, it's a good ballyhoo. I got to put one more out. I got to put one more out. Oh, clear. Bird in the hand, you ever heard that one? No, man. All right, I'm coming to play with you. There That's you go. all right, we got it. <laughs> Start one more scoop out here. How about releasing world record bonitas? <laughs> all right, watch that scoop. That was a hell of a bonita. Yeah. 
What the hell of Anita, man? All you gotta do is unload a couple hundred bays, see if anybody's home. Mine's coming up to surface. Might be a bonita, huh? Yeah. Unless he well, starts jumping. This is the right one. Oh, I got a school of bonitas swimming on the, down this wave with my fish. What do you got over there? I haven't seen him yet. Kind of feels like the right one, but I don't know. Them 20 pound bonitas are hard to tell the difference. I think I got the right one. Yeah, I got the, I got the right one. All right, mine's a bonita. You want to grab this? We're going to have sushi tonight. Oh, that's up to you, man. I'm happy with the dolphin. You keep them, let them go, whatever you want. Let's get them both side by side so we can compare them. All right. That's a nice fish. There. One more time. Oh, you got it? Yeah. There you go. Yeah, man. Fair bookends. Yeah. You find one, you find the other. That's you know, right. one of them everybody wants to eat, and the other one's great bait. All right. Great bait's going home. All right, killer. You want to keep this one and eat him? Or let him go? I'll fillet him. You will? Sure, man. All right, well, he's yours. That's buddy. what I do. All right, he's all yours. All right, set him nice. on ice with that mahi. Nice little black fin. All right, awesome, great job. Man. Yeah, good job. Good call on the last place to fish for the yeah, day. Man. Good call.